CP the Toy Addict. Woo! As you can see, today's video title is Why Buy Snap On? Where CP is going to attempt to help people understand that won't listen anyways. <laughs> <laughs> why to buy why I buy snap on why anybody doesn't it's not particularly just snap on guys Mac any high quality tool there's Armstrong that used to be around even going to buying stuff that's not made anymore right tools a lot of good tools period sometimes it's worth more to pay the price I mean nothing still is sexy as that snap on ratchet I, I that just triggers people. It's amazing the type of culture that we live in now that people cannot make a, a purchase. And uh, even if I share it on YouTube, there's always going to be that guy that's jealous. And the sad fact of the matter is is that I've never looked it down upon a guy because he wants to drive a, uh, a pile of garbage car. Which, uh, would, what would be a pile of garbage, uh, for example? Let's say he wanted to drive a Ford Taurus. Loved a Ford Taurus and wouldn't drive anything but a Ford Taurus. Loved his 1996 or 97 Ford Tourist and said, the best car ever made. Hey, to each their own, brother. Uh, I don't knock it, you know, and uh, everybody has preferences. Now, a couple of things I want to point out as to why most people buy Snap-on. It's just because they have better taste, and that's going to be offensive to people, but it's the truth. The, the simple fact is, is that Snap-on has a feel and a quality that is unmatched in the industry if there was something else out of there snap-on would not be used or utilized or referenced as much i have uh, a lot of mac tools and as you can see here i have a mac air compressor i have a mac jack i've had that jack for 20 years now i've got a mac tools professional mechanics mat i love my mac tool stuff i love my snap-on stuff it is great stuff it has gotten me through and done things that no other tool has been able to do religiously. One of the biggest things that people often shout out about Snap-on is the price. Of course, the price is going to be more. They are paying a higher price for labor, more intensive labor qualities. They're paying higher price for materials. All those things factor into it. Now, if I had all of those, all that information handy, I would explain it to you. The fact that people go around and knock on it is no different than knocking on somebody that drives a Lamborghini or a Corvette. Is It's a professional tool, okay? First of all, it gets jobs done. Yes, you could buy a disposable tool from Harbor Freight and it'll get the job done too. But there's things that we've learned over the years like fatigue and uh, you know things that you just don't want to deal with. Fatigue and injury from using tools over the years, from using cheap tools has absolutely been one of the biggest selling points for me is why I use Snap-on. Not everything Snap-on makes is any different than others. Uh, uh, not a huge different from others. There's a difference. The hard handle from Snap-ons are pretty much hard. They're highly revered and unmatched. No, a lot of people have tried recreating them, but they are very comfortable tools. The shanks on these tools are very similar to several other manufacturers out there. You can buy the same type of shank with a different handle, but that name that says Snap-on and that handle, a lot of mechanics know and feel. It's just like putting on a glove. The colors, the quality, you can just tell the difference in everything that you use. These are not the same tools that you can buy from Harbor Freight. As many people want to try to admit that they are... Or pretend that they are. They are absolutely not. And people that don't know and knock on them, they, that, that just tells me they don't understand. There's a several finishing processes that Snap-on uses, such as nickel chrome plating. Their triple nickel chrome plating, which is above and beyond what anybody needs, but it's very anti-rust resistant, and it's a very durable finish. The most durable finish on the planet, some would say. Their pliers are cold rolled, feel, cold rolled steel, just like Nipex. And in fact, the price on the Snap-on pliers definitely reflects the Nipex. That is a high-end plier, and they're pretty similar in price in most cases. You can look at them. People try to say they're more, but they're really not. The vector edges, the talon grips, 
All of these things about a snap-on tool add up to what professionals really yearn for when they're using a tool. The handles on this the pry bar is one of those things where I'm not a big fan of. But the polymers and the plastics that they use in their tools are definitely high quality. And you can tell that stuff in a cheap tool versus an expensive tool. The steel that they use in their toolboxes are definitely some of the best in the world. And I know because they're right here in Iowa. Cordless tools can be subjective and that's okay. I personally love some of the cordless tools. I don't love them all. The prices on them are ridiculous. Are they the most powerful in some cases? No, they're not. In some cases, they are very powerful. When it comes to a cordless ratchet, very hard for me to not love a snap-on because of the way it feels. It is almost perfect. Perfectly designed for the technician. And there's other companies out there that make great USA-made products, such as Cornwell. Uh, this extension set. Not a bad price. Some would say it's, it's overpriced, but... 174 for a very good quality product that's really not that big a deal to a mechanic in my opinion some things that you'll really see the difference on is their ratchets because they really do put a lot of effort into them and i have found that they don't lock up as much when you put a lot of force on them they don't shear off as bad some people will argue that others will not i personally in my experience once again, though, I don't abuse my tools. If I have a quarter-inch ratchet and it's not doing the job, I go to a three-eighths. If sometimes you can't fit that in there, I understand that's a fitment issue. But at the end of the day, if you, you have the right tool for the right job, I understand some people also buy one tool and try to do every job with it. But you just can't beat the quality that they do. Now, there's rebrands in Snap-on as too. Snap-on's not subject to having rebrands. But they own this company too that rebrands Baco rebrands for their stuff. A huge problem I have with buying Harbor Freight <laughs> is right here. Is This is on eBay. There's no resale. Uh, $23 for a battery, drill... I mean, what are they, they're doing Milwaukee drills on here. There's no resale. Harbor Freight is considered a throwaway tool. Yeah, it'll get the job done, but it's there's no resale. There's nothing there to save. There's nothing to pass down to your kids. Someday you're not going to say, Yeah, son, I got this Pittsburgh ratchet years ago, and it's definitely one of the ones to hand down. It's not a knock on people who aren't well off i i don't understand maybe it's because i'm not uh some people aren't making as much money as others and i understand that and i don't know why they get offended about it honestly it should motivate you to do better and be better you can make more money out there and afford tools you can also buy them you you can go on ebay and do your own research i'm not making this stuff up the resale market on snap-on tools is very very good they have a huge following and they have a good resale market and to me, honestly, I mean, $25 for a wallet that they gave away for free? Come on. That's crazy. Still, they're getting $25 for a free wallet, wallet from somebody got. $20. People say that you can't get diagonal, can't get things cheap right there. $20 for 100th anniversary diagonal cutters. There's a market out there for everything and everybody and an ability to buy stuff. But Snap-on 38-piece flank drive combination wrench set in the foam, $1,849. That's why Harbor Freight is losing in the long game for tools and why people love Snap-on. It's because some of us are still nostalgic and they want to keep our tools for a lifetime and have something that means something. The metals that they use, the processes that they use to manufacture them are better. Regardless of what other any people, everybody tells you, tells you, I have literally done hundreds of videos talking about this and showing differences between cheap sockets expensive sockets cheap ratchets and expensive ratchets i've tried to help people out and i've tried to be kind to everybody and let them know hey look i'm not being mean to you or picking on you for this stuff it's just the fact of the matter is is that and i'm not a huge snap-on lover everybody thinks that i'm a snap-on fanboy a lot of times and the sad fact of the matter is i bought a lot more mac tools and i just kind of pick on people by using snap-on as a general deal but anyways, guys, I hope some people got something out of this and they literally understand that, you know, Snap-on is just a thing for people that like to buy this and they use it as a professional. It is a better tool in some cases. There's some ups and downs, but just like anything else, there's goods and bads. There's 
uh, you know, negatives and positives. And there's always going to be a little bit of rebrands. Snap-on manufactures a lot of tools in the USA. It's false that people go around saying that they don't. Uh, Harbor Freight makes absolutely nothing. And there's no reason to be negative and, and mad at people for buying Harbor Freight. It's just stupid. Uh, it's silly and it's childish. And it really just irritates me that people are that childish that they can't just be nice enough to people and be like, oh, hey, man, that's cool. You like That's some nice Snap-on stuff. Or, you know, hey, you buy Harbor Freight. That's okay, man. I, I still want to be your friend. I don't, I don't look at people any different than that for what they buy. And judging people like that is just ridiculous. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.